Hey guys, in this video I am excited to share with you guys a new design we did during the lockdown. It was a long pending project and uh, we are happy to say that we completed it recently. This project is very different from the other ones we normally do using the cellular modules. This is a radio and uh, specifically in, uh, called a DAB radio, digital audio broadcast radio. And the requirement uh, was to design a radio circuitry for an existing radio box. We got this radio box uh, uh, for which the circuit need to be designed with some additional requirements. So the PCB is supposed to sit inside in this place and uh, the buttons and the rotary encoder and the display position should all should match. There were a few challenges during this design. The first one is to getting the position of the switches right. Uh, so that the switches come exactly in the holes on the casing and the next one is uh, getting the mounting uh, holes right uh, there are multiple holes on the PCBs the other PCB which uh, came with the enclosure uh, it had multiple holes for the display holder position and the rotary encoder and all those things and the other challenge was to get the PCB corners correct this board has some weird corners and cutouts as you can see here so this all should match so that it can fit correctly into the enclosure and uh, also the uh, user interface and the menu design from scratch was challenging and we do not have DAB stations in India so it was very difficult to test the radio here so how we did it we started by measuring all the cutouts uh, the cutouts and the on the edges of the PCB and the holes on the PCB and uh, measured all the distances and uh, positions positions of the holes and uh, we made a document a document out of it and uh, made the PCB design as per that the first main part of the design is the RF module or the radio module uh, this is the radio module we are using it's a SRS series module uh, and uh, luckily it comes with everything built in with AT command support to tune the channels and adjust the volume we just uh, had to route the antenna lines to the SMA connector and uh, the audio lines to the audio amplifier for the audio amplification we are using the PAM 8803S audio amplifier which comes with uh, digital volume control in uh, 64 steps and uh, gives good enough sound for the radio application when I say digital volume control, it's uh, actually a, a IO pin control. There are two pins for volume up and down. So if you pulse the up, up uh, button, the volume increases and if you pulse the down button, the volume decreases. The UART lines of the module have been routed to the MCU for control. Seems like even with 12 years of experience designing circuits with UART lines, I still managed to wire the TX and RX lines of UART lines in reverse and uh, that's why you see this beautiful patchwork here that's why i insist on a minimum track width of 0.3 mm wherever possible on the pcb uh, because it makes it easier to make these jumper connections using these thin wires anything lesser than 0.3 mm makes it very difficult to connect the tracks even this was very difficult but still we managed to make the connections as we are talking about the botch ups as you can see here we made one more mistake of not putting a pull up resistor on the rotary encoder the rotary encoder we are using it for the first time and we are using the timer module of stm32 give us the counts up or down uh, based on the direction the rotary encoder is moving uh, the mistake what i did was i relied on the stm32's internal pull ups on the gpo lines uh, to give us the high level needed for the switches but uh, unfortunately when you are using the timer modes the STM32 pins cannot give you the pull up values so that's why we had to put two pull up resistors here coming to the MCU the MCU used is the STM32L4 series MCU uh, because we needed a little more horsepower to handle the user interface and other functions in parallel the radio is supposed to operate on a 12 volt input source so we used a two stage power circuit the first stage consists of the TPS 54240 switching regulator um, this is the same one used in the Veltrack well well V4 VTS tracking device this uh, regulator will give you 5 volts output which is uh, connect to the second stage which is uh, this uh, normal LM111's 
uh, 1173.3 volt regulator this regulator powers the whole circuit including the MCU the audio amplifier and the RF module we also added a alternate LDO here and suppose in case if you want to run a run the radio on a low voltage power source we could directly use this LDO in uh, leaving the switching regulator which is expensive but uh, in this design we are not using this we are only using the switching regulator and the 3.3 volt LDO directly we also added a 120 kilobytes of EEPROM uh, for storing the channel and the preset information the radio can be configured from a PC using uh, uh, custom designed Windows software or the comfort interface we can change the channels frequency and the name uh, which is shown to the user uh, through which he can browse and select there are about 200 channels uh, options provided through which the user can scroll and select to the one which he wishes to listen there are about uh, 20 presets provided uh, which he can store uh, among the 200 he can select 20 channels from the 200 channels available and store them as presets and scan through them uh, the device has a scan option and it can scan through them and select the channel whichever is available just like you do in a FM radio once we designed everything it was uh, time to test the radio function uh, but unfortunately there was uh, no DAB radio station available in India so we got this uh, Baofeng uh, walkie talkies uh, these operate on 4 50 to 460 megahertz band uh, which this uh, radio model also operates on and it can uh, receive the signals coming out of this walkie talkies so but unfortunately once we got this walkie talkies uh, we didn't know what uh, what frequencies these transmit the signal on there are about uh, 16 channels available on this walkie talkies uh, and uh, we didn't know exactly which we are exactly which uh, frequency each channel is on there are about 16 16 channels and uh, each one operates on a separate frequency so that's why we got a frequency counter and uh, measure the frequencies coming out of the antenna output of the walkie talkie uh, we connect the frequency counter here at the antenna port and we were able to see the frequencies we listed down all the frequencies and uh, uh, we were able to listen the audio coming in from the walkie talkie after fiddling with some encoding settings and uh, command syntaxes we were able to get the audio out of walkie talkie to the RF module time for some demo let's connect power to the radio module This is the initial screen it shows the channel selected the volume settings and the channel name the display is glued tightly to the board because it got damaged during testing and uh, the layers of the display started coming off so i put some glue and uh, fixed it to the board so that there is no loose connection or malfunction so now to show you there are a few buttons here on the top this is the channel up channel down uh, if you press this you can select the channels channel 1 2 3 4 5 6 and if you select this uh, rotary encoder switch it, the channel gets selected so this is Baofeng 6 and uh, here this is the preset so you can scroll through the presets so you can save about 20 channels here in the preset settings so, and the reader can scan through all these by pressing the scan button so this is the scan button so now uh, all the channels get scanned now if I press this since there is no signal available it keeps scanning all the uh, channels now if I put the walkie talkie in any, any particular channel if I, trans if I start transmitting some frequency Three, four, five, six. Now I will transmit signal on the sixth channel. It will stop at six. So that's how the radio works. So if there is any signal coming on in a particular channel, it will stop at that point and start playing that audio. Let me change the channel again. Let's press the scan again. 
now I will start transmitting again see so now the L1 channel is tuned and uh, we can listen to the signal coming on the channel 11 and uh, the next setting would be the volume setting so if you are in the idle place you can increase the volume now if I transmit volume has increased so this is how the radio looks now now there is one more button for squelch settings that is part of the radio settings so the squelch value can be set here on the other side of the board uh, there are a few headers provided one of the headers is for uh, connection to a PC to configure the uh, parameters of the radio like the channels, channel frequencies, channel names and uh, the other header is for uh, loading the firmware the SWD lines are exposed on this connector on the FFC connector also the SWD lines are exposed and the UART lines also so you can make use of any of the uh, connectors for uh, loading the firmware onto the MCO there is a USB port provided here in case uh, the user wants to power the uh, device using USB and use the uh, 5 volt to 3.3 volt LDO also the, there are about two speaker connectors we are using only one left or right so only one should be enough now suppose the user wants to make any changes to the values here the frequencies or the channel names uh, they can do so using the Windows form software, so software which we have developed and uh, the, the communication is done on the done through the COM port the UART lines exposed here can be connected to the PC using the USB to UART converter and uh, the commands can be sent uh, the device will respond both back with acknowledgements so there are write and read commands with, through which the frequency and the names can be read and written so that's all for now uh, we will be shipping this board to UK for further testing in an actual environment where the DAB radio signals are available. Uh, once the testing goes fine, we will uh, make the fixes for this pull up registers and these UART lines and release a final version. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.